hi welcome to calculate the time complexity for given function the upper bound calculation so here the find the upper bound of running time for given quadratic function 2n square plus 3n plus 2 here when we are calculating the upper bound by using the big o notation uh, we should know c and n0 so such that the given big o notation function is you know, here uh, zero less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c into g of n for all n greater than n zero so here c constant and n zero always greater than zero positive values so when we are substituting the given uh, f of n to n square plus three n plus two and the c c into g of n so here we are uh, taking the coefficient of all terms in the uh, f of n that is two then plus three and constant so here then always when we are comparing with the n square n is smaller term and this is constant so the dominating term in the given function is n square so we will consider because this is always greater than the right hand side c into g of n this one is always should be greater than so we are considering the highest or higher order term higher order term so the higher order term will be considered in the c into g of n because it is always should uh, greater than the f of n so higher order term is n square we are taking the n square and we will add it up so here we will get 2 n square plus 3 n square plus 2 n square so here uh, we will we will get infinity number of terms possible like this you can add uh, 5 n square plus 100 n square like that it will keep on go so that's why we are taking the uh, possibility terms known terms from the uh, f of n the coefficient from the f of n so when we are doing that uh, addition we will get the 7 n square so this is f of n uh, less than or equal to c into g of n so here c is 7 and g of n is n square now we will substitute the values from n0 equal to 1 because the n0 is always greater than 0 we will start with the 1 when you are substituting the 1 so you will get uh, 2 plus 3 plus 2 uh, 7 less than or equal to 7 1 square here 1 square so you will get the 7 so this the this is the point here n0 equal to 1 this is the point so both are equal so then we will substitute the uh, 2 n equal to 2 so when you are substituting uh, 2 into 2 square you will get 4 plus uh, 3 into 2 6 plus 2 so here we are getting uh, 12 so 12 then uh, 12 less than or equal to uh, 7 into 2 square 2 square is 4 so 7 into 4 uh, you will get 28 uh, uh, so 12 less than or equal to 28 so uh, this is also true so from the n0 equal to 1 onwards the condition is satisfying this f of n is always less than or equal to c into g of n so here c will be uh, constant will be 7 and g of n is n square and next example is finding the upper bound of running time a uh, given cubic function of uh, 4n cube plus 5n plus 8 so here uh, because of upper bound we will use the big o notation uh, which is having the function 0 less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c into g of n from this given uh, picture so now the f of n is substituted for n cube plus 5n plus 8 uh, less than or equal to c into g of n because of the uh, the c into g of n always greater than the uh, f of n so here the higher order term is uh, n cube so we will take the n cube here and uh, um, we will take the uh, coefficient of this all uh, terms and constant so here the constant uh, higher order term uh, coefficient is 4n cube then another one is 5 then constant is 8 so uh, because of greater values in the c into g of n we will take 
the coefficient all uh, any value is possible for example we are taking this coefficients so 4 n cube because this should be always greater than greater than the f of n g of n is always greater than the f of n so for n cube here dominating term n cube here also we will uh, give the dominating term n cube so now we will get uh, 17 uh, n cube uh, so this is the c into g of n so c is uh, 17 and g of n is n cube c of n is n cube so we will substitute the uh, value a uh, positive value first 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 positive value uh, one because n0 equal to n0 always greater than zero so when you are substituting one here you will get 4 n cube 4 plus 5 into 1 cube uh, 5 plus 8 so 17 17 into uh, 1 cube you will get the 17 so 17 less than or equal to 17 so from the n0 onwards it the, it will satisfy the f of n less than or equal to c into g of n so when you are substituting the 2 you will get 4 into 8 32 plus 5 into 2 10 plus 8 okay uh, like that when you are uh, giving the 17 into here uh, 2 cube so 2, 2 is 8 so 17 into 8 so it will come uh, more than 100 more than 100 so it is also satisfying the given condition so here we uh, uh, this from this equation we calculated the constant is 17 g of n is n cube thanks for watching